guys, welcome back to the channel. As usual, I am your host, Selassie Fiawe, and uh, today we're going to talk about Andre Ayu, the Ghana Black Stars captain, his gesture uh, to a World Cup uh, winning coach in Selastete. A couple of months ago, Selastete came out in an interview to reveal that he had not been paid in full uh, for uh, the winning the World Cup in 2009 at the under 20 level with Ghana, as well as the African Cup of Nations under 20. It has come to the attention and Selastete has been uh, sort of abandoned, quote unquote. Uh, recently, his news became uh, public knowledge and Andre Ayu, the captain of the Black Stars, uh, through his uh, spokesperson and mom, have uh, reached out and uh, given some monies to Selastete. We'll look at the situation today. Also going to go to talk about Kwesia Pia, who <laughs> brought you that news about the comments from Paintel about him is on its way possibly to Simba FC. We'll look at the news and how true it is and how far advanced talks are. We're also going to talk about uh, uh, Achu. Yes, Christian Achu reports coming in recently indicate uh, that uh, Achu is possible he was not in the building at the time of the collapse. <laughs> Interesting updates coming here. As usual, subscribe if you have not Click on the notification bell to get more updates. We'll jump right into it. But before then, Sahara Football merch links are in the description. I'll pin it as the first comment here. It goes a long way to help the channel. I move on to my first story it has to do with Coach Selas Tete. And uh, the news was rife. Selas Tete had not received all payment. He said he's owed some arrears after helping Ghana win the World Cup in 2009. Selas Tete, a great coach, the only one to have ever done it, the only African country, Ghana, to have ever won the World Cup at the under-20 level. And uh, he was a coach that led us there. We won the African Cup of Nations as well that same year. And as the news broke out a month ago, it was quite unfortunate. Here is a legend who has done so much for Ghana football. But it's not so surprising because we have a knack for not regarding or looking after our legends after they pass out. Uh, probably that is why uh, the current crop of players don't mess around with their bonuses and money's owed them. Because when you are through playing for the country, they forget you and they might never look back and hail you or acknowledge you. Well, thankfully, captain of the Black Stars, Andrea, you has done something. And uh, he has come to the aid of the former youth coach, Selas Tete. The Black Star skipper made a generous cash donation uh, to the ailing uh, ex-Ghana under-20 coach at his residence. Uh, the undisclosed amount of money was handed to the FIFA under-20 World Cup winning coach on behalf of Ayu by his mother, Maha Ayu, and publicist, Fifi Taki. Tete's deteriorating health came to the public eye after he granted an interview with local media. A 2009 under-20 coach revealed he is yet to receive the money promised him after winning the World Cup in Egypt, which is quite unfortunate. Ayu, who was captain of the team that won the tournament in North Africa, quickly reacted to it by attending to the needs of the veteran coach. Former Liberty professional coach and technical director is revered for nothing several of Ghana's top talents. Tete has been in and out of hospital in the last few years and uh, it's unfortunate this keeps happening. These guys are legends of the game. Uh, they built up the game for us, built up so many players, discovered so many talents. To have them deteriorating in health like this and not being attended to is quite unfortunate we hope things change but we can only hope we hope that we don't look at our former legends and think back and say wow this guy used to do this and look at where he is now we have to take action ministry fa whoever is in charge of these things has to make sure that uh, celastete and the likes of those who have done so much for ghana football are not left to rot because of our neglect happy about the donation from andrea you uh, we hope more comes in and we hope the money is owed him is paid him as well my next story has to do with the christian achu 
yes uh, we are all looking for christian Achu. he's still not being found it's close to two weeks now uh, to the last time he was seen on sunday uh, by reports coming in uh, show that uh, he was not in the building that collapsed yes the stories keep changing it keeps uh, twisting and turning as we move along you do not even know what to believe anymore now his agent nana Setre, went to the site with a rescue team in search of his player about review that only a pair of his shoes were found at the apartment and that was there was no sign of her true providing his own public update ibrahim opong who is with crime check ghana has been working with christian machu over the years stated that he has been told the player left the apartment minutes before the earthquake hit his building he says i've been briefed by the club that he was not in the building he ran to the parking garage to get his car out and it was during that period that the renaissance building totally collapsed and that happened 20 minutes after he left the apartment our brother was not in the building he went out uh, during before the building collapsed but i can't confirm whether he was able to leave the parking garage with his car or not he added in his update this update is anything to go by it could mean a lot of things it could mean i don't know i don't even know what to think right now it could mean that Achu was on his way out of the building and got caught in the earthquake or oh, something it, it, it's still not clear where christian Achu is his agent said they saw his pair of shoes because that was where he was staying at the time now this update uh, from someone who has worked with him before with crime check he's granted interview with, with him he said he's been told by the club as to whether that is true too is another matter altogether that Achu was not in the building at the time of the earthquake he had left 20 minutes cannot confirm if he had successfully exited a garage in his vehicle <sighs> we hope Christian Achu is found we hope uh, some uh, uh, positive news comes out of this i'll end with the story of uh, simba fc opening talks with kwesi apia uh, the former black stars head coach to become the technical director of the club now according to reports by uh, oyera pi fm uh, kwesi apia is close to joining the tanzania club uh, with talks far advanced between the two parties kwesi apia recently applied for the black stars job which he did not get chris Uting was named as the head and uh, he's looking to return uh, with management we are still talking and we are in advanced negotiations it's about 70 percent now hopefully we conclude everything with cipr confirmed in an interview with oyerepa fm his last management position was with the black stars in 2019 so i wish him all the very best he will surely not be in charge of ghana or assist pursuiting when the time comes that's been it for today update on christian achu whether it's true or not, Andrea, are you helping hand to ailing Salas Tete? And Kwesi uh, Apia, off to Tanzania, technical director of Simba FC. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a great weekend.